Hey everyone, it's Mimi, and I have a new Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a while, but our Dollar Trees really haven't had a whole lot of good stuff here lately. I mean, they have, but just your basic things. So, finally, over the span of at least one, maybe two shopping trips, three possibly, and in the span of at least a week or more, and two Dollar Trees, I finally was able to find this adorable little cutie. This is one of the new trinket trays. It is the alpaca or llama, whichever one you want to call it. And it's the one with the color. I know they have white, solid white, where there's no color like this, and a gold one. But I was finally able to find the one with the color. With the cute little lashes drawn on and this really pretty purplish, uh, pinkish purple, I should say, and yellow little, like, blanket saddle. The only, my only complaint is, if I turn it where you guys can see it, is the glue that's holding the hoofs, or holding it in place, because as you can see, like, the little hoofs are black, is that the, it comes up, and it's a colored glue, or at least it ended up becoming colored, if I, so... So I don't know if it's a glue or if they just glue and put glue and got paint or what happened there. But I'm really excited that they finally, finally got some of those. And I want to say there was only like two or three left. And the other variations of that are also there's like a mermaid tail, a unicorn head, a cactus, I believe. And I want to say that oh, and a pineapple. I think those are all the ones that you can get that come in white, gold, and then colored. Yeah. Next decor piece I have, I believe they've had this before, I almost want to say they had this last year maybe, is this this little wall sign, for lack of knowing what else to call it, doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't call it anything. It has a hanging here piece here, but this is actually going to be a craft for me. I'm going to take this part off because I do like this and kind of recolor it a little bit and I'm going to turn this into sort of like a shadow box for displaying some of my small pieces. I mean, it's I like this part, it's pretty, but me personally I'm not a big fan of this background color with the glitter. But that's just me, but I didn't know if I'd be able to find any of their other little decor boxes, shadow boxes, because right now, or recently I've been seeing people haul ones that are shaped like houses to where it's, you know, the rectangle or square and then has an A-frame roof but instead of, but they're turned, you know, where you can put stuff on the inside like that. So anywho, in case I couldn't find those, and I did like that, if it's going to stay there, unicorn piece, I got that, just in case, and I'm hitting the camera. The next decor pieces that I found, I was finally able to find, not that you guys can see, as I have to lower the camera, are these cute, adorable little cactus and succulent signs. And these are pretty heavy. I mean, this is, it's pressed wood, but... I mean, it's pretty heavy. So this one has a mixture of cactus and succulents. And says, plant a garden and watch it grow. Well, the paint's starting to chip off, but it was the best one overall compared to some of the others they had. They didn't really have a whole lot left. I want to say there's four different ones of these. There's two that are mostly succulents, one that's really cactus, and then this one that's sort of in between. And I just, I like these shades of green and purple. That one's for me. And then I got this one for a friend of mine. She's, she's been having a hard time finding them. This one says good vibes only. And this one is predominantly succulent. I think it's actually all succulents. That might be a cactus right there. But it seems to be the color theme of different shades of green with little bits of purple. And, you know, you could also probably, and I believe Dollar Tree has them, they're like the little brackets, these little pieces to hang up, that you could probably attach to here and be able to hang it up on the wall instead of, you know, putting it on, um, just sitting on, like, a table. My Dollar Tree bag is falling. I'll sit you over there. The next thing, let me pause and grab it. Okay, the next thing I got is decorative, but not exactly the purpose it was bought for. I got some of these burner cover sets. I bought two because at 50 cents a piece, so you actually get four. But our Dollar Tree, they only had this, down, this design and one other chef design. I, I know there's some with like Arnest is best with the 
wreath around it. You guys can't see. But what with what they had, this design is just what I chose. Eventually, you know, you might, uh, I'm thinking I might could spray paint these, but you get the one large one, which is a 10 inch, and then the smaller one, which is an 8 inch. But I got two packs to cover the whole stove to keep all the crumbs and food and crud out. Hopefully you guys can hear me all over all that noise. But yeah. So, I mean, you can't really beat, like I said, 50 cents a piece, because you get the two of in each pack. So, and my lighting is not all that great. Move these things so you guys can see. Alright, and next, if they don't fall over. They had these little pens. I already, because these were I, one of the first things I got a while back. Uh... I bought them mostly for the pom-poms because this is really pretty. It's frosted, but they're like this. It's a simple... Oh, nope, wrong end. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember. They were hot glued on there, and I managed to peel them off. But they were writing pins with the little puff balls. But this is yet another craft. These are going to go on a headband. But they're very soft, and I really like this pretty color. I'm thinking they also had more of like a blue color, whereas this is a violet. They also had blue... I'm thinking there might have been a green and possibly a pink, but my Dollar Tree did not have a whole lot of these. The next craft item, and these are ones I didn't take apart. These actually come like this. I finally found some of these. They call them craft stems but they're fuzzy. They had this hot pink, this like hot Barbie pink, black, a lighter pink, a uh, dusty purple, which really wasn't all that pretty in my opinion, to each their own, and I believe a minty colored green. But I chose these two. I'm thinking tails for the dolls, for like the Monster High dolls, or for costumes, or just all sorts of things. There's lots of different ideas, things you could do with those. So I managed to find those. I also, thinking of fuzzy things, managed to find some of the pillows. They did have also a dark navy blue and a dark like hunter green. I just didn't really care for the colors. They weren't as pretty as this one, but I thought this was kind of cute. It is very small. Um, like here's the pen on the, f so it's a little bit bigger than. The pen. Our ruler is not in here, is it? So, I don't think they tell how many inches these are. I'm not sure. Um, big old tag. No, they don't. I don't think it says just this fur pillow. Um, also, one thing that I know you can do, like, because since these are probably hand wash only, but if you want to like kind of disinfect it and you're afraid to spray anything on it. Yeah, wipe clean only. One thing I do is I put it in the freezer. Put it in a bag, put it in a freezer, and left it in there for at least 24 hours to kind of help get rid of any germies that might have gotten on it. And let's see. Oh, I have some makeup products too. I finally, I found the, the powdered out, the sinful colors. I already had opened these, so I've used them both. They're okay. This is a case of you get what you pay for, for a dollar. Um, I do like that they don't have any... Oh, is it talc? Yeah, they don't have any talc in them, which is not good to ingest. That's not safe. That's why I won't buy some lipsticks. So I got the blue and the green. They're, they're okay. They will come off pretty easy, like if you want to eat um, or drink. So that's green. This is called Rebellious 2059 is the number for it. I mean, it's a nice creamy texture. Um, if I remember correctly, it was not drying. It just, it doesn't have the stay power of like a liquid lipstick. And this is Persuasive number 2061. So it's a really dark navy blue. It was a little, it's a little patchier, I believe is what you'd call it, compared to the green. But for a dollar, I mean, especially because these, to me, the colors remind me of the uh, NYX or NYX lip 
lipsticks and glosses. You know, if you can't find those but can find these, go for it. I mean, they're, they're good colors, they're a good color match. I'm gonna get my other bag. So, and it was fun, you know, just something to try to see what they had. And, uh, let's see, one of the last few things I've got is I think this is a little, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, Put this down. It's a card holder. But, um, there again, I'm repurposing. This is going to go for my shoppies, for my little dolls, and be like a changing screen or like a room separator. Either that, or I'm going to craft it a little bit more and turn it into a metal bench. I haven't decided, but I just like this pink color. They also have a purple, which is a little bit darker. I'm trying to think, look and see if there's anything on here that I... It's maybe a little bit lighter than this purple. But they had a purple, white, I'm thinking it was probably black and silver, maybe. My Dollar Tree just had the pink, purple, and white, but I'm pretty sure there is black. I'm thinking of pink, new nail polish. This is number 527. I don't know. This is, oh, LA Colors, color craze with hardeners. This is delicate. So it's this really light, soft, baby pink. But at the risk of a little TMI, I, a lot of my nail polishes are getting old and it's time to replace and for a dollar. And I like the the um, LA colors. They do pretty good. I mean, they're not, you know, maybe not as strong as some of the other brands, but just something, especially if you want to change out once a week or whatever, they're good. Then you don't have to like keep scrubbing to try and get them off of the acetone. Just moving on, so I have some stickers. These are so cool. These are like stained glass. So there's some cacti stickers. I think that actually may be an aloe vera. So I don't know. I guess these would be cactus or succulents. But they're just. I just thought these were really cute. Stick these somewhere, or I'm gonna maybe take and use them to put as like little mini cactus and sit them again with my dolls. Anything that I can repurpose that. I'm not certain I can make on my own. I go for for a dollar. They're cute. It's something different. I like that. And I love these. These adorable foxes. I love foxes. And these are such a pretty color. They're not blind you orange. They're not outrageous red. They're just they're a nice reddish orange. They're a good fox color. These would be nice for the fall too. Some little acorns and flowers and leaves. Um, might be able to see it better with these. They also have unicorns and I believe pineapples. Oh, I forgot to go get, I think we got the unicorns, but they're, I don't have them with me. So yeah, so they're like stained glass. So actually if you could cut these out or put them somewhere, put them on some plastic, make them like look like, bleh, I can't talk right. Stained glass art, but a bunch of different things with these. They're very different compared to a lot of the other stickers that they have right out. Have out right now. Okay, I can't talk, right? Uh, and then I got this set, which these, I believe, yeah, they're pop-up stickers. I'm not quite sure how these work, but I just thought they were really pretty. Especially, like, this setup right here with, like, the little potted plants and the flower vases. There's a little menu board down here. This one's really cute. Some little flowers with the paper. A lot of different things to do with these. Not quite sure how they work. This is either the first time I've bought pop-ups or it's... I think you... Okay, they do peel out. So they are like peeling stickers. So I guess it's... I would call them more as like 3D stickers, but... Maybe there's a way to make them pop up and out. I think they're just stuck on there with some little double-sided tape. I'm not going to mess with it too much. I don't want to tear them tonight. And then I do have one other thing that I was totally not expecting to find. I was just looking through. I believe I got it at the same time as these stickers. It's stationary and it was just unexpected, but I'd been looking for some wood grain paper, even some just like, um, what do you call it? Scrap of paper to make like backings for doll houses, the doll house and displays and on my shelves and whatnot. So I, this was the last one. They also have one in denim, but it has a couple of sheets of this red wood. Kind of makes me think of a barn. 
which is one thought that comes to my mind is to get some cardboard and glue this on and make like a little small barn or like a barn side. Um, this is the next color. So here, this is what really caught my attention is this beautiful whitewashed weathered wood. It's really pretty. Well, let's see. All right, because there was a slight difference. Where's this first one? And I think there's just the three. But for some reason, I gotta be careful so I don't. I should have brought something in both that lipstick. Yeah, for some reason, some of these. This one's different. I don't know. There's a slight variation. I don't know if it was supposed to be that way and printed, but there's this darker. This is to me it looks more like natural, like bark shade wood. This sort of gray wood. But they're not all exactly the same, I don't think. There's see this one. Oh, it's like this one. It's lighter. I don't think it got printed quite as dark. Because some of the pattern is still the same, where there's like these orange splotches in the wood. And well, this one's a little bit lighter. It's, it's odd. I'm not sure if it's meant to be different, actually different color, or if it's just it didn't print quite right. And there's just the three patterns, so to speak. But yeah, so you get 30 sheets. I'm guessing probably 10 of each one. And I guess, yeah, it's a Greenbrier product. So they call it an activity paper pad. Uh, oh, it's five by seven. But I just, it was really cool. A lot of crafting ideas with that. Okay, I think that's everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. Those are the quickest ways, hopefully, if YouTube is behaving, to know when we have put up a new video. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. So if you want to like us there, subscribe. So you can also know when we post there. So yeah. Let me know. What did you guys like? Any favorites? Have you guys been able to find like the other signs, the trinket trays, any of the other variations of all of these things? It took a while. Believe me, it took a while to find some of this stuff. Our Dollar Trees have been very slow here lately. But at least they did finally get it in. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out our playlist with our other, vi other videos. Like I said, can't talk right tonight. Where we have done doll reviews and blind bag reviews, toy reviews, blind bag like openings, whatever you want to call it. There will be a list of them down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!